it just came in through the mail. My husband read it, and he started reading it, and he said, you know what this is? No. This is that they're going to take your land. Aurora Flores Trigo says she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. The letter says 2,900. In January, Aurora received a letter from the Justice Department offering $2,900 for 1.2 acres of family-owned land in Los Ebanos, Texas, in order to construct a fence. So to me, it was they can't. They can't do that. They can just come in and grab the land and take it. And what about, what about the family? We're using that. This is one part of the South Texas border lacking a man-made barrier. The government is considering land they surveyed for a fence nearly 10 years ago. This is the land. The DOJ has sent this letter to all 58 of Aurora's relatives and current heirs. It's merely a formality under the law of eminent domain, allowing the feds to take private property. It's a project that's going to take place no matter what anybody says. And if you don't take the 200, the 2,900, you don't, they're still going to take it. The families here, I think, would feel more comfortable. Aurora's husband, Jose Luis, knows a thing or two about eminent domain. In the 60s, he lost three acres to clear way for this highway. He was paid just $300. I guess the government could care less about Feelings. Feelings of family, Sentiment. family, uh, history, things like that. That's more of a moral issue, you know, with the family. And while Aurora may not have many options, she's vowing not to give up her family's prized possession so easily. Even though, like my husband says, um, te la van a quitar. They're going to take it away from you because that's what the government does. But I'm not going to just keep my mouth closed. I will continue going. I will fight till the end. A reality many border families are facing to lose part of their land in the name of border security. In Los Ebanos, on the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain reporting.